Hello students, today we will discuss the short question answer part 6. Now the today's first question is why the tumor of apex of the lung may cause Horner syndrome. Now when you will see this diagram you will realize that this is the area which is important to understand to, for answering this question. Now when you will see the relation of your apex of the lung you know that this is the most important area which is present behind the posterior part of the apex of lung so the answer of this question is actually the, uh, is in this area so due to the damage of the cervical part of the sympathetic chain as it cross in front of the neck of first rib behind the apex of lung so first you have to understand this anatomy that this is the neck of your first rib and in front of this area you are having this elongated chain and this is the sympathetic chain. So what will happen that there is an involvement of stellate sympathetic ganglia occurs and this type of the compression of the sympathetic ganglia lead to the Horner syndrome. Now this condition is generally seen in the Pankos tumor which is a tumor of the apex of your lung and it arises from the posterior side. Now sometimes you have the clinical scenario based question on this condition that a 50 year old man present with the history of chronic smoking and he is having the complaint of the absence of sweating on right side. Now you know that uh, the Horner syndrome is having the feature of anhydrosis that means absence of sweating. Now on examination there is a partial drooping of upper eyelid on the right side with the constriction of the pupil noted in the right eye. So here if you will see you will realize that patient is having anhydrosis, patient is having the partial ptosis and there is a meiosis is present on the right side. So by reading this question it is a clear cut case of the Horner syndrome and the x-ray finding is also suggesting that the chest is showing a lesion and that lesion is present in the apex of the right lung. So here you are having the idea that it is a case of the compression of sympathetic chain and uh, what are the relations in the uh, posterior part of the apex. So there are first is sympathetic chain then highest uh, intercostal vein superior intercostal artery and T1 ventral rami. So whenever the compression of this part occurs it will lead to the Horner syndrome. Clear? So you can now see that there are two questions based on this cl clinical scenario. Name the posterior relation of apex and explain the reason. So explain of the reason is that there is a compression of sympathetic chain. Now you have the very another important uh, term is known as corpora arenacea. So you have the question what is corpora arenacea and its clinical importance. So corpora arenacea is having another name is known as brain sand. Now it occurs due to the physiological calcification of the pineal gland and due to the presence of this calcification granules in the pineal gland, the uh, pineal gland become visible on the CT scan of head and also on x-ray but it is seen after the age of 40 years. Now this calcified pineal gland appearance is become very important an anatomical landmark in radiological examination to recognize the midline shift of the brain. because uh, you know that pineal gland is a midline structure. So the displaced calcified pineal gland indicate the space occupying lesion above the tentorium. Now in this diagram you can see that this is the normal location of the pineal gland in the median section. When you will see the CT scan this is the calcified pineal gland. Now it is a midline structure so you can see this calcification in the midline but suppose there is a, any space of occupying lesion. Suppose in this area there is a large tumor of the brain it will shift this uh, calcified pineal gland uh, away from the midline clear so this is the clinical importance of the calcified pineal gland which is known as corpora arenacea now there is one more term similar to this is corpora amylacea corpora amylacea is a feature of the prostate gland and it is a accumulation of the dense amount of the calcified material in the prostate gland so this is all for this session thank you